flashing lights from multiple agencies along Pacific Highway South near the Fred Meyer in Kent. Early Monday morning is the aftermath. That stems from reports just before 415 from witnesses who say they spotted a driver who may have been under the influence. More of a car stopped in the roadway and then traveling slow and then stopped in the roadway again. Investigators say when Kent police officers arrived at the scene, the driver, a 25 year old man, was unconscious at the wheel. So they pinned his car with police vehicles to ensure he wouldn't drive away. That's actually not uncommon at all. If there's a, a, a vehicle with a driver in there that appears unconscious and a vehicle still in drive, we don't want to wake that person up and have them just slam on the gas accidentally or ram a vehicle or whatnot. When officers approached the car, investigators say one of the officers said a male has a gun over the radio. And that's when the officer reported firing several shots. The next thing we know on the radio was that officers were engaged with a fight with this subject, physical altercation, and that he was displaying a weapon. Shortly thereafter, shots were fired and uh, the suspect was down. Emergency crews worked to resuscitate the man, but he died from his injuries. Investigators then blocked this half mile stretch of Pacific Highway South throughout the morning, conducting their investigation. Eventually towing away the driver's car and clearing the scene around 1.30 in the afternoon. And the identity of the driver has still yet to be released. For now, live in Kent, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.